going on guys? It's your boy Andre back with another episode of Packed In Action Figure Reviews where we give you that action that's packed in. And on today's episode, we are going to be comparing the newly released Marvel Select Captain America and we're going to be putting it up against the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was really on the fence about picking up this Captain America simply because I already have the Marvel Legends a 20th 20th anniversary cap and to me more or less they pretty much are the same figure of course there are going to be differences when we uh, do the comparison and the contrast but um, initially when I saw the promotional images of the Captain America I was a bit drawn back by it I wasn't completely sold on the promotional images that were put out there um, and in, in the back of my mind I said you know since I have the 20th anniversary cap there was really no need for me to get uh, the new cap from Diamond Select. But after seeing it in person at my local comic book store in South Florida, that would be Tate's Comics. Shout out to Tate's Comics for always providing the latest and greatest uh, adult toy collectibles and comics. Um, I was actually thoroughly pleased with the figure. Now, this new Captain America is on the seven inch scale. As many of you guys know, that's not nothing new to Marvel Select. So I don't normally collect Marvel Select figures unless it's like big figures like Colossus or the Hulk or Beta Ray Bill but I think you know for what this figure comes with I still think it's a pretty decent figure but without further ado let's get these guys off of the rotating stand and let's compare and contrast them and see which figure is the better figure so first things first, jumping right into the accessories. One of the things that we're gonna take a look at is the hands. Over here on the left, I do have the Marvel Legends and on to my right, I do have the Marvel Select. Both figures uh, basically share the same hands with the exception of the uh, shield throwing hands that Captain America comes with the Marvel Legends version. So I definitely think that helps if you want more dynamic poses with him actually throwing his shield. And the other different variation would be with the select version, we actually have these hands here, which are more like grasping hands. And this actually works really well for holding his shield, which the shield actually does have some pretty cool features. But apart from that, all of the other hands are pretty much more or less the same. I do have similar pointing fingers here too as well that you guys can see major differences being the scale and the same would apply for the fist. As you guys can see here, one is bigger than the other. And then we also do have the salute hands. Now the Marvel Select version actually does come with two salute hands. So you can either have him saluting with his left or his right, or you can use it as a directive for him going into a direction. One thing to note that I did realize with the Marvel Select versions of the uh, fisted hands though, or all the hands in general, is that there seems to be some paint uh, where the hinges were so just be mindful that if you are moving the hands around on your Marvel Select version You might have some red chips of paint coming off. Just be wary that the paint is coming from uh, the actual uh, hands itself and in addition to those accessories we also do have these straps of uh, that Captain America wears over here to my right I do have the Marvel Legends and I do like the attention to detail that they do have with these man and I definitely feel like it's a little bit easier to do the paint work and the detailing on larger scale figures you know what I'm saying so here we do have the metallic paint on the buckles and we do see that it goes it does go through these loops here um, you know it looks like it's molded in like a brown with a tad bit of some gray wash in there just to kind of bring out some of the details and we do have some more metallic paint on the back portion of it. Comparing it to the Marvel Legends, we essentially see that it's the same thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like both companies did a phenomenal job with the straps actually here. Looking closer at the Marvel Legends version, we can actually see the stitching. I'm not sure if the select version has a stitching in there. It actually does, but it just seems a little bit more prominent here on the Legends version. So that is going to be some of the differences. This does seem to be molded in all black with just the paint uh, for the silver of the buckles. There is no paint on the back, just like this one. Not a huge deal, but just something to notate. Then moving right along over to the head sculpts, to the unmasked heads to be a little bit more specific. I am actually really feeling this new Marvel Select figure. Um, clearly one of the biggest differences that we are going to see with these two head sculpts is going to be, you know, the look. Obviously to me in my eyes, or in my opinion I should say, uh, this Captain America here seems to be a little bit older. 
Um, I don't know what it is about the facial details that gives him that appearance, but he definitely does have a more mature look than this guy here. I mean, this guy does here look, you know, he does look more, he does look mature, but I wouldn't say that he looks as mature as this Captain America. Apart from that, I would say some of the other differences that you are going to see is that on the Marvel Select version of Captain America, his eyebrows are more prominent or they're more defined, meaning that I can see them. With the Marvel Legends Captain America, I would have to like bring it up this close just for you to see them. That's not to say that they're not there because they definitely are there. However, from far away, you can definitely see the eyebrows here on this uh, Captain America a little bit more but apart from that man I definitely I really do like the details that they put into the hair we can see that both figures have a wash to bring out some more of the details into the head sculpt and I think that you know the aesthetics for it you know as far as like the detailing I think it's actually pretty good I feel like Marvel Legends actually did a little bit of a better job with some of the, the wash in the hair as you can see this seems to be more uh, around the hair and on the Marvel Select version it only seems to be at the top of the head and then as we get to the back uh, you know there's a little bit there but I do feel like they kind of missed the mark here on this side just a little nitpick but something that I did notice but that is pretty much going to be the differences between the head now the Marvel Select version actually did come with a alternative head and I believe that this head sculpt is based off of the first appearance of Captain America. And um, one thing I would say about the head sculpt here is there is a bit of QC issues. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but um, if you look closely at the paint, there is some slappiness with the paint. As you guys can see here, there's a little bit of paint that goes beyond the mask line so it kind of does bleed into his skin tone and then I don't know if the camera's picking it up but he also does have like these undertone of like like a red blemish that he has on his face I'm not sure how that happened or how that occurred but that's definitely on there and I have seen uh, other viewers excuse me other reviewers like unparalleled universe bring attention to that as well so I happen to see that on my figure I don't necessarily think that is a you know a one figure thing um, when I was at my comic book store when I was looking at both uh, comic versions of this head sculpt I did notice that there was some QC issues uh, like here we can see that there's a little dent in there um, but apart from that I am happy that they did at least give us you know the additional head sculpt if we wanted to make our Captain America a little bit more versatile um, you know depending on which iteration you want to have on display and then we also do have the cowl for each figure and in my right hand I do have the Marvel Select and I definitely feel like Marvel Select really blew it out of the park with the cowl design for this figure man um, comparing it <laughs> to the Marvel Legends it, it doesn't even look like Marvel Legends tried and honestly you know um, before I seen this I was perfectly content with you know having you know the cowl being brought off from his face looking like this um, but when you compare it to you know the Marvel Select version man I mean you could just clearly see that there was a lot of more effort and detail put into this cowl um, you can see the eye holes in the mask and you know I definitely like the attention to detail man here with this and you know when I pop it on these figures later for you guys to see you guys will definitely see uh, what I mean then jumping right over into Captain America shields over here to the left we do have the Marvel Legends and one of the biggest divisive issues with the 20th anniversary uh, Legends Captain America shield was that it does have these holes here and a lot of people did really find it kind of irritating because these are removable and when these are removed unfortunately they do leave these holes inside of them now these holes do serve a purpose with each of these um, additional accessory pieces that come with the cap we can actually put these action hits for the shield so you know if you do want some versatility in your posability when it comes down to your Captain America shield that is definitely something you can do um, the 20th anniversary also does come with this electric powered kind of um, 
uh, hit effect to it here as well. So if you have Captain America going up against, you know, a person with electrical powers, that's definitely something that you can have. So you definitely have options. The only bad part is that, you know, obviously when you take out those hit effects, you're going to be left with the three holes. The other thing to mention is that this piece here is very fragile. I know many of you guys have also had Captain America shields where it breaks and it looks something similar to this. So that is something to be, um, you know, cautious about when handling your Captain America shield uh, with the Legends version. When it comes down to the Marvel Select version, Marvel Select actually did a very good job of the design with these shields. And one of the things that I want to show you guys is the fact that these are actually two separate pieces. And so you can actually put that smaller circle on there and it works really great with the hands you know what I'm saying so you can get his uh, shield to spin it's not gonna really make sense on a circular uh, on a, it's not gonna really make sense on a circular shape since it's a circle so it's going to be the same in all directions but for his shield like this you know if you want his arm to be posed in a certain way without the manipulation of the actual shield this actually works very great because when you put this on here you know what I'm saying when it's attached to his body you'll be able to move the shield in the direction without moving his arm too much if that makes sense I think you guys know what I'm trying to say but the other thing that I did want to point out is that if you actually wanted to swap out shields and if you wanted to use this shield for your Marvel Legends Captain America instead of using this you actually could because they're roughly about the same size honestly and jumping right over into the aesthetics of each of these figures man i can definitely say that each figure delivered in capturing and embodying the essence and presence of captain america aka steve rogers and i guess ultimately it would depend on you which one you would see more superior than the other now each figure definitely does have its pros and its cons and we're gonna definitely take a closer look at that now one of the first things i wanted to take a look at with the marvel select head sculpt is you know the detailing and i definitely feel like they did a really good job you know when i first saw some of the promotional images with the black uh, you know supposed to be representing i guess you could say more so the shadow on his mask i didn't know exactly how i was going to feel about that but now that i have it in hand man i definitely think that you know it doesn't take away from the figure if anything i feel like it adds to it if we compare it to the marvel legends head sculpt here we can see that one of the biggest differences is that it does not have the a um, excuse me, it does not have the black shadowing on the mask. The other thing that I wanted to point it out is the A on my head. For some reason, it seems like the paintwork is not as good as it is on the Marvel Select version. And again, that could be either due to, you know, just, you know, the painter being lazy or it could be due to the fact that the Marvel Select is a bit bigger on the scale and it is easier to paint things when they are a little bit bigger with the paintbrush. All right, apart from that, man, I definitely think that they... Ah! <laughs> That's what I get for talking smack. So going ahead, continuing this comparison, um, one of the other big major differences with these figures is going to be in the texturing of the upper torso. We can see on this Captain America, he does have some of the scaling on his upper torso. And I do realize that it is only in certain places. And, um, you know, it's not necessarily a bad look. However, I am leaning a little bit more towards the scaling here that we see on this Captain America. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Some people might argue and say that on this cap, it might be a little bit overdone. Uh, when I take a look at some of the um, comic images or reference material, um, you know, sometimes I do see Captain America a lot more like this than I do see him like this. Um, but I still don't feel like it takes away from the figure. I just definitely feel like it just breaks the Marvel Legend figure down a lot more because we do have, you know, the scaling up here followed by the smoothness. And then with this Captain America here, we just kind of see that, you know, overall, it's pretty much a smooth figure. Um, but I do like the fact that they still added in the, you know, the scales just to kind of, you know, break things down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do like the versatility. Then over here, taking a look at the torso section, man. Um, you know, I think they did another phenomenal job. One thing to look out for is when you are 
moving the figure, you know, and I am gonna deal with that when it comes to the articulation section. You wanna be careful because there can be some paint rub. It's not a huge deal because most of the time you can kind of just scratch it off with a little bit of alcohol and it'll be gone. But for the most part, that is what it is. Then over here, taking a look at the arms, man, you know, it's very detailed, man. I like the definition of the tone of the muscles and everything like that, man. And if I were to compare it to the Captain America, it's more or less pretty much the same thing, man. I do have a little bit of paint splotch here. I'm gonna clean it off with a little bit of alcohol, but more or less, it's pretty much the same thing, man. And, you know, I definitely think that each company did their, did their due diligence, you know, with, you know, the aesthetics of the figure. Then over here, taking a look at the mid torso again, we kind of touched on the torso already on the Marvel Select, on the Marvel Legends. It's more or less pretty much the same thing. However, I do want to note that there does seem to be a little bit of shadowing. They added like a dark red in the abdominal area. And that's something that I kind of like, but at the same time, I was a little bit confused. I thought it was like paint. I thought it was an issue with the paint. So I'm kind of more leaning on like the solid red here as opposed to you know the wash of dark red paint here um but you know not a huge bit not a huge deal breaker for me but just something that i wanted to kind of show uh the difference of then over here going taking a look at the belt uh this is not the belt that it came with so i am well they did come with it but it is an accessory so this is how he looks straight out of the packaging this is a belt that he comes standard with and i definitely think that the marvel legends definitely nailed you know the standard belt a little bit better here we can see that you know the buckle and um you know what i'm saying we can see it going through the loops and everything like that and here you know it just looks like uh flat it is molded on there i'm not gonna say that it's just painted but i just definitely feel like because this is a separate piece i just feel like you know it just works a little bit better than this then moving right along down over to the lower portion of Captain America here on the Marvel Select version in the crotch area, we can see that there is some wrinklage there. On the Marvel Legends version, there is no wrinklage. It is just a flat piece of plastic. And then taking a look over here at the legs and the definition of the muscular tone, I can definitely say that the Marvel Legends, for some reason, it seems like it stands out a little bit more. However, I feel like the anatomy as far as like how muscles actually look, they seem to be a little bit more accurate on the Marvel Select version. Um, and again, that's not to say that the Marvel Legends uh, version is bad. It's just, you know, obviously two different companies, there's gonna be two different interpretations of it. Then moving straight down over into the legs, we can see here on the Marvel Legends version, there seems to be a lot more detail as far as when it comes down to wrinkles and the boots. On the Marvel Select version, it seems to be, excuse me, it seems to be a little bit more flat. But one huge thing that I noticed, and I've seen a few other reviewers mention it, uh, such as Unparalleled Universe, Anthony Customs, as well as Shardimus, shout outs to you guys, you know, you guys are definitely an inspiration, um, is the leg, man. And it seems like if you're taking a look at the calf going into the bottom portion of Cap's leg, man, I mean, he looked like he had some chicken legs, bro. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not going to say that it's barely, barely noticeable. It's just that one of those things that you really have to like look at to notice if that makes sense. Um, it's not a deal breaker. I don't feel like it take, takes away from the figure, but I definitely feel like that's something to point out because if I compare it to the Marvel Legends cat boot, you know what I'm saying? His, you know, his ankles, you know, definitely fit a lot more flush going up into his calf area. And I think that is more realistic of an anatomy uh, when it comes down to, you know, just, you know, the legs. Then taking a look at the Marvel Legends legs, we do have a little bit of toe wrinklage on the boots. And I, I definitely love that, man. I definitely like that they added some wash in there as well. And then taking a look here at the Marvel Select version, um, there's really not that much wrinklage in the toes. I mean, there is very ever, ever so slightly. I gotta like bring it up this close to the, to the camera. It's there, but it's very faint. Um, again, not a huge deal breaker, but I do like, you know, that the Marvel Legends version definitely has that because man, I can't tell you how much I hate feet that look like, and no shade to Deadpool, I hate feet that look like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's cool and all don't get me wrong a lot of our marvel legends have these kind of feet but i just feel like when you have the wrinkles on the toes man you know what i'm saying it just adds more detail uh to the figure now moving right along over into the articulation of the marvel select captain america first things first we do have a ball joint on the head and the neck does move and that's one thing that i really 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 like about the marvel select version of this captain america i think so many of us really underestimate you know how much posing of the head can really make your figures look very dynamic man and this is something that i really like that they did with this figure so the head can look up about this much which is really 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 good and the head can look this whoop, and the head can look down about this much, which I think is a very good range of motion. If we were to compare that to the Marvel Legends, unfortunately with the Marvel Legends, we still have that same standard uh, ball peg on a hinge. So the most movement that you're gonna get from this is him looking up all the way up like that and him looking down all the way like this, which realistically nobody's you know anatomy is built that way, but you know, it works for what it is. Um, you're not gonna really get well, you know what? You could get some tilt in this guy, so I'm not gonna say that it's extremely bad, but if we were to compare the two, you know, you're definitely gonna get a lot more range of motion uh, with this select version um, articulated neck as opposed to the Marvel Legends. Then I'm going over here to the arms. Both figures basically share the same thing. You can get that T-Man pose, so you can get his arms all the way out like that. He does not have any butterfly joints, unfortunately, um, but he does have double jointed elbows, which is always good. And I think we have a pretty good range of motion. It's a little bit past um, 90 degrees, and that's always definitely good. Taking a look over here at the Marvel Legends, you're going to see basically that it's the same thing. However, I do say that for some reason or the other, the Marvel Select version, it just seems to look more natural. And, um, you know, I think that's partially due to how it's cut. And I actually heard Anthony Customs talk about it. He was the one that actually brought it to my attention. So shout out to Anthony Customs. But he was basically saying that here on where the, uh, where the elbow and the bicep meet here is flat. But if you were to take a look at, you know, here, it's a little bit more rounded and I definitely feel like that helps with the overall aesthetics of the figure. So shout out to Anthony Customs for bringing that to my attention. Uh, next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the diaphragm. And you know, I actually think I like the diaphragm joint on this Marvel Select better than I do like the Marvel Legends. And I'm going to explain to you why. So with the Marvel Select, he can look up about this much. You know what I'm saying? Which I think is a pretty decent look back. And then with the added head articulation movement, you can actually have him looking all the way up like this. Now, of course, looking down, you're not gonna really get as much. You can kind of force it down and move the head to make him seem like he's looking down a little bit more so it works. Um, if we were to compare that to the Marvel Legends now, man, you know, I think this is where Marvel Legends just really dropped the ball because while he does have good ab crunch going forward like this and i think it works when he does this we get that really nasty gap in between there and i'm not quite sure why they designed it like that you know what i'm saying we've seen other figures where it didn't have as much as a gap but that is going to be one of your big major differences in the articulation um so this one does have more superior ab crunch going forward and back However, when it comes down moving side to side, you're not going to get any because the diaphragm joint on this just happens to work a little bit better. You know, I can get them moving side to side, up, down. Um, you know, one thing that I've heard a lot of reviewers complain about is, you know, where the torso and the abdominals meet or the upper chest. And, you know, I can understand why that complaint is there. You know what I'm saying? It is a little bit awkward. Um, it's not really a huge deal for me, but I would rather this, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have him pose like this running or something like that. You know, he's coming at you. It just looks more natural as opposed to, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't look right if he's posed all the way back like that. And, you know, you will have to have some poses where, you know, Captain America is, you know, he has his shield up and he's looking and stuff like that. So that is definitely quite a bit of an eyesore. 
Then moving right along over here to the legs, we can see that he does have thigh cut. It is 360 degrees. His legs can go out about this much. He can't do a full split, which I don't really think of Captain America doing splits, but it would be nice if we can get the figure to do splits because if I take a look at the Marvel Legends, even though we don't have a thigh cut, which really sucks, we do get full splits. And I think that that's really good. You know what I'm saying? It definitely when it comes to the dynamic posing. So while we do miss the thigh cut here, uh, he does have very slight thigh cut. It does move this much. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that works. And then over here, taking a look at the knees, we do have double jointed knees. They go about this far back. And um, again, you know, this is where you can kind of see how skinny, you know, his legs are going into the boots. I'm not sure why they designed it like that, but he does have double jointed knees. So that's always good. And then um, he also does have boot rotation and he also does have ankle pivot. It goes up, goes down, and it is going to be the same exact thing on the Marvel Legends. He does have double jointed knees that go this far back. He does have boot rotation and he also does have ankle pivot. So after all this said and done, taking a look at both of these figures, man, I definitely think that each company, both Marvel Select and Marvel Legends, definitely did their due diligence and, you know, producing these figures, man. I definitely think that they captured, you know, the energy of Captain America and the essence of them. Um, you know, definitely these figures definitely have their pros and cons to them and they definitely do have their differences. But, you know, I'm real curious about, you know, what you guys think. Do you guys think that the... Uh, Captain America from the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary is better or do you think that the Marvel Select version of Captain America is better? But apart from that, if you happen to be a Captain America fan, man, and you want, you know, a, uh, a figure that you want to pose on your desk or something like that, man, you know, just a standalone figure, man, I definitely think that this Marvel Select version of Captain America definitely is your bet. So once again, guys, thanks for checking out this comparison review of Captain America. If you are a Captain America fan, you got to get this Marvel Select version, man. Even if you don't have any other 7-inch figures, man, it's still a pretty good, solid Captain America figure, man. So once again, guys, thanks for checking out Packed in Action Figure Reviews, where we give you that action that's packed in. Thanks for checking the video out, man. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.